Social media and mental health, guys. What do you know about it? What can you tell me right now before you watch this video how social media is linked to mental health and how mental health is deteriorating because of social media? What's going on, guys? It's your girl here. Welcome to a new episode that I'm doing on my channel, which I talk about. I do small podcast videos where I talk to you guys about mental health, a whole range of mental health, insecurities, depression, anxiety, ADHD. HD, autism, loads and loads and loads and loads of different topics. I'm going to speak to you guys about it in loads of different episodes. So welcome to the first one. And today we're going to be speaking about me- mental health and social media and how toxic social media is. The reason behind these videos is because the last two weeks I've had a social media detox. I've completely removed all social media. This is one of my first videos coming back onto YouTube after this detox. I've deleted Facebook. I've deleted Instagram, TikTok, everything. There's I I have not associated myself with any social media for the last two weeks. And trust me, it's felt it's felt amazing. It has felt absolutely amazing. I've always grown up around social media. Even as a child, I was always on a computer. So social like not social media and such, but computers, I've always grown up. So taking myself away from the computer was hard to do. But trust me, I feel amazing. Before this break, I could not look at myself in the mirror without judging myself. I was breaking down to my boyfriend nearly every single week, telling him how much I hate myself, telling him how how I have no self-conscious anymore, telling myself how I just don't look good anymore in the mirror. And I didn't realize it until I decided to delete my social medias, how big affected it actually affected how much it affected me I honestly can say that the break from social media has done me absolutely amazing I can now put videos up on YouTube without makeup on I can look at myself in the mirror without makeup and feel good about myself I finally found who I am before social media I had no idea who I was I was trying to be someone else I'm gonna get into all that later on in this video but I just want to say if you do enjoy this video and if you can relate it anyway or if you do want me to speak about any sort of topic then let me down in, let me know down in the comment section and I will read over them guys also give me your experiences on on social media and mental health as I said before I detox from social media I felt disgusting I had no confidence I was living someone else's life in my head without realizing it I I totally let go of myself I totally re- I I just forgot who I am I honestly forgot who I am and I'd cried to Dan Dan poor Dan he he really had the blunt of it in the last couple of weeks because I would cry to him I'd I'd feel awkward around myself which was making me feel awkward around Dan um I would just get angry for no reason I'd get frustrated I'd sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll for hours on end I'm totally blank him I'm totally totally blank what he is saying totally blank what we're doing it just destroys you. It destroys everything around you. And that's what social media is made to do though. Social media is made to destroy. Like there is no other word for it. When I was a child, the, the, the thing is about this generation is that we're used to social media. This generation, the kids are being brought up with social media. Maybe it's not going to affect them as it affects other people. But when I was a child, when I was a teenager, I'm 24 now. So when I was younger and when I was growing up, I didn't have social media in the way that we have it now. We have access to so many different things on social media. There's so many different platforms to access. It was, it's unbelievable. When I was a child, we literally had Bebo. Bebo. I, I can't even pronounce it anymore. Bebo. If you if you know what I'm on about, then you know how to pronounce it. Um, we had M- MSN, which that's that was our communication. That's how we would speak to our friends. That's how we'd video chat them. That is that was like the main go to was MSN. You have to legally be 13. Do you want to know the mad thing is? I actually seen someone the other week put up on Facebook that they've given their three year old social media. Their three year old has a phone and has the ability to access social media, has the ability to scroll through TikTok, has the ability to use Facebook Messenger and phone people. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, but like I like parents, parents rules. You you can do what you want with your child. That's totally up to you. But I, I think I'll ever, never let my three-year-old on social media. It was crazy. Not everyone had a phone. Like, this day and age, everyone has a phone. Everyone has. Like, you, you, right, I live close to a school, and I see the school, school kids coming out. Every single one of them are on their phone. The other day, I actually seen, and it really boiled me, this one. This one really, this one really boiled me. But the other day, 
I seen a mother, okay, a mother pick up her two children. Their children have been in that school since like seven o'clock this morning. It's now half past three. And the only thing that, you know, that you're, as you're a child, you've just spent all day in school. You, when you come home, you're going to want to tell your parents everything you've done. You're going to want to tell your mom or your dad about the things you've done in school. Show them their work that they've done. The mother literally stood there scrolling through Facebook or whatever she was on, scrolling through her phone. Her kids come out of school. She didn't even look at them. She just continued scrolling and she started walking with a pram and her two kids by the side of her while they were trying to get her attention. She was just scrolling through. It's, it's, it's wrong. It is wrong. Social media totally destroys your mental health. And TikTok, it's, it's brutal. The thing, the, the, the thing about social media is that it goes off your recommended. If one day you're sitting there and you're having a bad day, like I've done, done this experience, like I've experienced this myself and many of you guys have probably experienced it as well. You'll sit there, you're having a bad day. It's not the brightest day in your life. You're feeling, you're feeling shit about yourself. You're feeling really unhappy. So you're scrolling through Facebook or you're scrolling through TikTok or Instagram. You go ahead and like a picture or a quote or a video or something off like a 3 a.m. quote or a deep mind quote or something like that. Some quote that at the moment, in, in that moment, you feel like it's really relevant. But when you're on a happy, you're on a happy day, it's not relevant to you. But you're scrolling, you like it. The next day you go on, it's like the middle of the day, you're feeling absolutely amazing about yourself and you start seeing these quotes. Not the ones you shared, it's going to be recommended to you or you're going to recommend videos, sad videos, because that's how Facebook and social media's algorithm works. It recommends stuff to you that you like. So when you're liking them, 3 a.m. quotes to their mental health quotes that are making you feel like shit at that time. The next day when you're having a really hype day and you, you, you go back on these social media platforms, they're there. They're there for you to see again and you're just going to go instantly drop back into a bad mood. Did you know social media is actually as addictive as cocaine? It's on the same thing. When you're trying to detox off social media, it is actually as addictive as cocaine and that's an addictive drug. One thing I will say, when I was coming off, when I had my detox off social media and when I completely deleted all my social medias, I I scrolled from my phone looking for it. I was not going on any of these platforms because I deleted them, but I was just scrolling around on my phone trying to find the platform so I can click on it and scroll. That's all you do on these pro on these platforms is scroll. You don't actually like communicate. Social media addiction can actually cause loneliness, can actually cause depression, can actually cause anxiety. People think that they're not alone because they're on social media and they have like thousands of friends on social media, but in reality, you're actually really alone because as soon as you remove yourself from that social media none of these people communicate with you when I removed my, myself from social media I didn't speak to no one for about four weeks it wasn't four days it wasn't until I reached out to these people that they started speaking to me again it's crazy how it works it's crazy it's really crazy how it just totally messes with your brain not only that guys like the fake side of social media like what what do you mean the fake side of social media I mean generally the fake side of social media Instagram models okay and back when I was a child back back before social media inst models were models you wouldn't get so certain models you'd ha have models okay this day and age they'd be real as well they'd be real models their whole their whole entire beauty is real okay they are real things now I'm not going to say that the people on Instagram are all ugly because they're not some of them are naturally beauty some of them are beautiful anyway everyone's beauty in their own way we all got beauty in our own way you need to find your inner beauty to be able to see your outer beauty and I've learned how to do that it really works boys boys listen up to this one okay boys listen up to this one so that 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 social media and instagram model you're following absolutely stunning body absolutely fat ass fat thighs beautiful face beautiful boobs everything it's fake it's fake it's all fake it is generally all fake it is literally photoshop photo programs photo editing programs i was on a facebook page for photoshop okay and the amount of people i would see on there asking them to change their appearance make them look beautiful put a filter over them or change my smile change my ears because they're too big change my nose people really oh my god people really need to stop because you're beautiful everyone's beautiful in their own way i've been brainwashed into it i've been brainwashed into it, it it's it's hard it's sickening 
and it's upsetting it is really upsetting and it's really upsetting to see everyone else around me go through this because when I say delete Facebook and you feel a lot better they really do not understand what I mean by that unless you actually do it Snapchat filters as well man they're, they're lethal they are lethal like I there was a time in my life for the last like I don't know four or five years I haven't been able to take a photo of myself without Facebook without a Snapchat filter it's been impossible I've never been able to take a photo without without a filter for the last couple of years and upload it if I do take a natural photo of myself I absolutely hate it but in reality I really shouldn't hate it it's me it's who I am I don't live in a filter no one lives in a filter if you're putting these pictures up on Facebook of you in the filter you look amazing but I can guarantee you you do not look like that in real life and you probably look 20% more prettier the bullying that goes on, Jesus, the bullying that goes on as well. No, stop. It's exhausting. Now, I'm not saying all, all parts of social media is bad. I'm not saying that at all because I've had benefits out of social media. I'm a YouTuber from social media. I've I, My mum has grown a business through social media. That's how she gets her clients is through social media. I'm not saying sh- social media is bad at all because I it is beneficial and there are a lot of beneficial sides to social media. But majority of it is a lot worse than, than good. Like there, there's... There's more negative parts of social media than there is of fun and happy parts of social media. And go back to like children and social media. I'm sorry, but your child should not be in social media. It's toxic. It, it's brain. It, it shrinks your brain. Your child, as a child, that's all you want to do is learn. As a child, you are at your learning stage. You're exobing everything in. You're, ex- you're trying to find yourself. That's the times where you're trying to find love. You're trying to find out who your friends are. You're trying to find, you know, goals in life. You're trying to find out what you want to do. But how are kids meant to do this? The, that, how is, how are kids meant to do that these days when they're just brainwashed by living someone else's life? Honest to God, it's disgusting. I watched a TikTok the other week of a student, of a teacher, a nursery teacher, singing TikTok dances and teaching their children how to do TikTok dances and TikTok songs. What happened to nursery rhymes? When I was in primary, when I was in nursery, we learned about like Humpty Dumpty and Ring of Roses and, you know, the dances that we was doing, it was the hokey pokey or head, shoulders, knees and toes. There's none of that now, apparently. Apparently it's all TikTok dances and TikTok moves. I see more children on TikTok than I do adults. And I understand it's 13 plus, go ahead. But I mean babies. I mean, I mean toddlers know how to pick up that phone, press record and do a TikTok. It's sick. It's wrong. It's, it's totally wrong. People add mothers, fathers, nanas, bampers, families are worried about their children suffering with mental health. A lot of children these days are suffering with mental health. Cams have gone up by a hundred, like a million percent because of mental health on children. And do you want to know what the funny thing is? Most of these children are spending every single day on social media. They're, they're getting bullied on social media for being who they want to be. When, they, when they're not being who they want to be, they're trying to live someone else's life so that they're being, they're totally discriminating themselves and totally making themselves feel like utter shit because they cannot be someone else. And then you've got like the 90% of the population who watches videos that make them upset and make them mentally messed up which is going to put you into a depressed state. I'm sorry, but you are going to go into a depressed state if if you continue to 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 be brainwashed by social media. Now, continue to be brainwashed by social media. I, I, I'm not here to tell you not to get off social media at all. I'm just here to speak to you about the benefits of leaving social media and how social media is actually really as toxic as you think. It's an algorithm. It is an algorithm. And I don't know if any of you guys have seen the new um, the new Space Jam. But if you have, then you'll know that the algorithm is not a nice person. And it's not. The algorithm of social media is not a nice person at all. And it's really, it is really brain dead and it really kills your brain. Right. Go into the theory of, of the death ape theory. Okay. I learned about this the other weekend when I was done my brother's awesome theory, theory on why we are here million it's it's awesome go research it if not i'll do a topic on a video of it that's no problem but so like basically they tell you how how we how we evolved from apes and how apes brains grew into what we were by eating certain things and 
we if if that's true and if that is really really reality then we are shrinking our brains we're all just going to turn back into apes right like seriously if you know the if you know the death ape theory if not go search it up and then you'll understand what i mean by we're all going to turn into apes again one day and it, it's coming pretty soon with the way that we we're, we're being controlled by social media in a couple of years time we will be living our life online Okay, we'd be in a VR, we'd be living our life online without actually doing anything with our bodies because of how controlled we are becoming over computers and how controlled we are becoming over social media. It's it's wrong. It's wrong. There's no such thing as a phone book anymore. <laughs> it's all in your pocket. So I think I think I've covered everything. I think I've ranted enough about social media and about how a detox of social media is highly recommended because it really is. It really is. And I mean, I detox myself from everything, every platform. I'm still off them. I'm still off Facebook. I'm still off Instagram. I will be installing Instagram in a couple of months time when I'm feeling ready. But right now I'm not feeling ready to go back to any of it. I'm enjoying living in my moment instead of living for perfect photos and living for a perfect life that is never going to exist unless. I really make it when you're sitting there looking at all these perfect lives you're thinking I really wish that I could do that and you they, you don't see you don't see the the struggle behind all this because I can guarantee you a lot of influencers on Instagram and Facebook and everything are actually not happy and they don't show you that they don't they don't show you that I upload myself to YouTube and I don't show you the bad things I only show you the good things it, it, you don't want to see the bad things no one wants to see the bad things and if you do see the bad things no one pays attention to them so that's why it's it's crazy it's really it's really messed up mentally messed up how social media works it's really mentally messed up how how our brain works when we're on social media people think you can multitask when you're on social media because you can flick between apps so you can do social media while you're on your computer or you can do social media while you're cleaning or looking after your children did you know that not every like because of this people are less likely to be able to multitask yes you can flick between do different programs but you will not be able to concentrate on one thing. You just don't know how to function without social media. Honest to God, like give yourself a week, okay? Just a week or two weeks of social media. Completely delete everything. Keep, I've kept Messenger, okay? That's the only thing I've kept on my phone is Messenger. And that's only because my brother lives down West Wales. And the only way I can communicate with him, because it, it is quite far away from us, the only way I can communicate with him is social media, is, is Facebook Messenger. That's the only way I can FaceTime him and speak to uh, stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I've kept Messenger. Everything else is gone. And I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. I'm so happy. I've actually, I can actually look in the mirror and think, damn, you actually look good. I can look in the mirror and think, wow, I feel really good. I feel energized. I feel happy. I feel a lot me without it. And I, I don't know. It might just be me, but I can guarantee you a lot of people will feel that way. Just, just give yourself a week of social media and it'll, you'll feel amazing. So guys, uh, this is my, this was my first podcast kind of video. If you do want to continue seeing them and if you do want to continue watching them and if you want me to continue doing them, then let me know, guys. We can sit down and have a cup of tea, you know, have a cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink while you're listening to these kind of things. I want to do a couple of episodes a week, guys. It gives me the ability to just sit down and talk to you and I want to cover loads of different topics. No, I'm not doing it for, you know, all the fame and everything. I'm literally doing it because... I've realized since having my detox of social media and since finding myself that mental health plays a huge part of my life that I really didn't realize. I've, I can speak about loads of topics, which I'm going to, I'm going to cover anxiety, uh, depression. I'm going to, I'm going to cover watching people go through these things. I'm going to cover a whole lot of things. So stick around for them. If you did enjoy that is, if you didn't enjoy it, no problem. If you hear from my reactions, I'm still doing reactions. You don't have to worry about that. My reactions are still coming. In. I just want to start doing other little things as well and just start making and mixing things up a little bit. So if you did enjoy this, please let me know down in the comment sections and I hope to see you all in episode two. This is episode one and I cannot wait to get into episode two. So it's been your girl. Have a beautiful day. Stay true to yourself. Stay beautiful. Be who you are. Delete yourself off the internet for a while. Detox yourself and you'll find who you are, I promise you. I love every single one of you. It's been your girl. Peace. Bye, guys. We could do an SMAR version where I speak to you like this. This is the ASMR of anxiety talk. Detox yourself off Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and everything else you're on. Peace.